Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've been going through old photos back to the dawn of the digital era on uh, my computer. And uh, of course I have photos going back into the film age and at some point I'm going to get to those. I have a scanner so I'm planning on scanning a lot of my older images. But um, I uh, came across some images that reminded me of something that I thought <clears throat> people might find interesting and that is uh, back in July of 2003 uh, I visited a fire camp at a forest fire in Montana, and uh, the way that happened is kind of interesting. Uh, as I've previously mentioned, uh, I spent most of my professional career selling laboratory uh, instrumentation for, for basic research, not 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 clinical hospital lab stuff, but going into universities and uh, biotech companies and such, uh, selling mainly imaging systems, because there's a lot of imaging that goes on in research laboratories. So, and frequently I had very large territories. And so in 2003, I was covering, uh, if you can kind of envision a map, everything out of Chicago, I was based in Chicago. And I was covering Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, west through Missouri, into Nebraska, the Dakotas and Montana and everything inside of that area and I covered Western Canada as well so from um, Manitoba West so I was on the road a lot and one of my accounts was the University of Montana and they were always very happy to see me there I think maybe that's because people <laughs> maybe many, not many of my competitors went there uh, but I turned the University of Montana into one of my bigger accounts and uh, the University of Montana is in Missoula. And as it happens, a little less than an hour's drive south of Missoula is a town called Hamilton. And there is actually a U.S. government lab, a research lab in Hamilton called the Rocky Mountain Laboratory. So I had to go out to, uh, to Hamilton to uh, do a demonstration of a piece of equipment. Missoula has a uh, pretty large airport that's jet capable. So I would fly into Missoula. And um, on this trip, as I was flying in, uh, I was on a window seat on the south side of the airplane, and I could see south uh, in the Bitterroot Mountains, which is the mountain range that runs kind of from Missoula, just west of Missoula to the south, um, that there was a forest fire. Well, that's interesting. Um, so I you know, got my bags got in the rental car and drove down to Hamilton. And as it happened, the fire was up in the mountains, just a little bit northwest of, uh, of Hamilton. And another thing that I was doing at the time was I was working on another project with the guys that I had worked with at the stock photography agency in Chicago that I'd previously been employed at uh, on a web project. And we were gathering various types of images for this web project, and we all had press passes and so um, as I was driving into as, as I was driving into Hamilton um, and about a block from the hotel I looked and I saw the United States Forest Service office so I thought hmm, that's interesting maybe I should go in there and ask about seeing going up to that fire so I checked my bag I checked into the hotel went back over to this Forest Service office and went in and uh, pulled out my press pass and said, uh, I'm Todd, I'm a photojournalist from Chicago, and I was just wondering if it would be possible to get uh, up t closer to that fire. And it was a very nice lady, and she uh, said, well, hold on a minute. And she picked up the phone, and she made a phone call. She was on the phone for a minute or two, and she said, be here tomorrow at 2 p.m., and the fire marshal will take you up there. And... Uh, that worked out pretty well because I had, uh, I mean, Hamilton's not a big town, and the only thing I had to do there was this demonstration uh, at the Rocky Mountain Laboratory. And um, customers really liked it if I left the machine with them for a few days after I taught them how to use it. So it was no problem to, uh, to get back to the uh, Forest Service office at uh, 2 o'clock the next day. So I did. And uh, the, uh, I guess he was the fire chief. Forget what his exact title was, but he met me and um, 
we popped, hopped into his car and he drove me up to the fire camp. And after getting briefed on safety and the terrain and so on, I was issued the standard firefighting outfit and also a uh, emergency shelter. And then we drove up to the fire and I had an early digital camera. I had a Canon PowerShot G3, which uh, you can look that up. It was a high-end compact uh, digital camera. And um, I think it was probably between 800 and a thousand dollars, but uh, it was a decent little camera. It was only four megapixels, but it, it, it actually did take some very good pictures. So I, I uh, was able to get a, several images of uh, the folks fighting this, this forest fire. So I'm going to present them now with some uh, descriptions of what's going on. Um, so here we go. Here's a view of the fire up on the mountain uh, as we approached. Uh, there are some firefighting helicopters um, at the fire camp. And uh, also, these are the uh, tents of the firefight firefighters. Fire Information Center, where I got my briefing from the fire marshal. I saw the first aid tent and immediately thought of MASH. Then I was issued uh, firefighting apparel and a, an emergency fire shelter. Now, a lot of the hot shots, the firefighters uh, at this fire were uh, from the Native American uh, tribes. I think these folks are mostly from the Blackfoot uh, tribe, which is the tribe in the area. Um, they are taking a break and uh, uh, it was hot and pretty dry, so they needed to have water. Here are some guys about to put out a hot spot. Um, so there's in that pickup truck a tank of water, and uh, they're running up there to put that sp uh, hot spot out, which they did, and then they uh, turn it over with a shovel. There's a piece of equipment called a forwarder. It actually can carry various types of uh, accessories up to the fire. Uh, when they headed back down, there was an area where we stopped. It was a good view of the fire camp from uh, just up the mountain. And uh, then there was uh, uh, the last shot at the camp was uh, a helicopter who had just filled its water bucket and was going back up to uh, uh, dump water on the fire. And there were a lot of fires uh, in the west that year. And uh, here's US-93, and there was another fire 40 miles down the road that actually closed the road. Well, I hope that was interesting. If it was, hit that like button. It's a big help to me. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you're a subscriber or would like to subscribe, that's great. I appreciate that as well. If you have any questions or comments about uh, the images, leave them down below. I'll respond to those as soon as I can. I'm Todd Banner, and I will see you next time.